Hi guys, so this is my first time question and answer video. I got a question from Sanjit in my Instagram account. If you have not followed me, please do so. My Instagram account is Bernadette Yara. And Sanjit asked me about how to play or how to use pedal or pedaling uh, in piano. And the weird thing is, Sanjit asked me about how to use pedal without shoes. I don't know what kind of event or what kind of occasion that you will have um, because for me, I don't know, to have an event on the stage without shoes, probably, I don't know, work music, um, but usually you have to play in a concert with shoes. So how to do it? Let's get started. So in using pedal, usually you have to coordinate with your left hand and the pedal itself. I'm using acoustic piano or upright piano but if you have digital piano or keyboard usually the pedal is only one which is this one and this is the sustain pedal the function of this pedal is to make the sound longer so for example right now if I don't now if I don't hit the pedal it will stop and uh, the sound would be short okay now how to coordinate left hand and your right foot okay so I'm going to start with some mistakes that pianists do the first mistake is usually they press the sustain all along the song so if you do this let's hear it I'm going to play a C chord and D minor chord and E minor chord. Starting from C. So what happened is when you hit C chord with a pedal, it sounds longer. And then you hit D minor still with your pedal on. What is happening here is you're mixing your previous chord with your second chord and then you mix it again C, D minor and E minor into all resonance. That's not what we want. The second mistake usually a pianist press the left hand or press the chord at the same time with pedal. So what would happen? I'm going to play C, D minor, and E minor chord again. Now with different technique, let's hear it. So what is happening here is when you hit C and then you hit D minor, at the same time you press the pedal the sound will, will it sounds like cut right there. It sounds like not one phrase. That's also what we don't want. Uh, since Sanjit asked me to play it without shoes, so I put my shoes off. Hello. <laughs> and I'm going to play it with my bare foot. And what I do is usually when I hit C chord, let's say, and then I shift to D minor, that's when my foot release the pedal. Okay, let's hear it. I'm going to play C, D minor, and E minor chords again. So what happens here is when you hit the key, let's say from C to D minor, and then we hit D, at the same time when you press D, you release, you release the sustain, or you, you release the pedal. But after that, you, you immediately press it again. I'm still pressing it. Now E minor. The 
again C Actually, it depends on what kind of music that you, you're playing. There is no right or wrong in this case, but usually if you play some pop songs, like really, really flat pop songs, usually you play it like I just did. There are some songs that don't need, really, really, 100% don't need sustain. For example, this song. Okay. Because if you add sustain at that, it will sound weird. What is that? Okay. It, again, it depends on how you want to communicate your music with the audience. And also for me, pedaling or sustain is the way for you to catch your breath. If you're a singer, if you're a vocalist, you know when to catch your breath, when you gotta stop, uh, and when you stop your phrase. That's the pedaling duo in a piano. So uh, you gotta know when your when is your melody ends, when is your phrasing ends. But usually, if you're not sure, um, the pedaling goes with the chord exchange. Okay, so I hope it helps, and I'll see you in the next video.